Welcome to Get Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 3.13 from the fourth edition of Fundamentals of Electric Circuits. So, now let's look at our circuit and see where we can, where we can start. Um, so, we are asked to find given beta is equal to 80 and VBE is equal to 0 0.7, we are asked to find VO and IO. Let me write it like this, as that's how it is in the circuit. I O. Right. So here's our circuit. Here's our circuit, and I O is over there, and V O is over there. So we can quickly uh, form a relationship between V O and I O, which says using Ohm's law. Ohm's law says V is equal to I R and i is equal to v divided by r. Substituting that with the variables which we have at hand, we are going to say i o, let's write it here, we're going to say i o is equal to v o divided by 20 kilo ohms, which is over there. Right? Cool. So moving on, here, Another relationship or another uh, conclusion which we can make. The voltage across this resistor is indicated from the top of the node, this node here, to ground, which means the voltage from this node to that is VO subtracted zero, which means this top node here is VO, right? That top node or that node is VO. Now from VO, as defined by our transistor schematic, we have IC coming into the transistor, or we have IC over here. So we have IC, we have IO, and we have, I like making my currents go out when they're not labeled. So this is not labeled, the current which goes like that, it's not labeled. So I'm gonna say it goes out, right? Let's call it I. There is a current that goes out. So from this node, we have three points. We have three points and we have three currents. So now we can't really start to that side because we don't know IC, we don't know IO, we don't know VO, we don't know what I is. Um, so let's start on this side. So starting from this side, we are going to find IB or I beta, which is indicated like that on the schematic. So I beta. After finding I beta, then we're going to see how that is going to help us to solve the problem. So I do advise that you always start by finding I beta. Then you're going to see how you're going to manipulate all of these uh, equations or any of these equations to find what you're actually looking for. So let's start by finding I beta in this case. So going around the loop this way. So we're going to have uh, negative, negative 1. We're going to have plus 120k I beta plus VBE is equal to zero, right? So now VBE is given to us in the question. It's over there at 0 0.7, right? And I beta, that's what we're going to find. So negative 1 plus 120 KI beta, and then plus 0 0.7, 0 0.7 is equal to zero. Right, so you can just take this to the other side, and it's going to be 120k i beta is equal to uh, 1 subtract 0 0.7, which is 0 0.3, and then divide both sides by 120k. So divide by 120k, and therefore i beta, our i beta is going to be, so let me divide 0 0.3 divided by 120k, and the answer to that is 2.5 microamperes. And that is our I beta. So let's see how we're going to use this I beta to help us find everything else. So looking at these equations, we have this equation down here, which says IC is equal to beta multiplied by I beta. We have both beta and I beta. We just found I beta now. So it says IC is equal to beta multiplied by I beta. So our beta is given to us as 80 in the question. And our I beta, we just found to be that, time into that. So this is IC. IC is therefore equals to multiplying this by 80 gives us, um, this is um, 200 
microamperes. Right? That's what we have as IC. So now let's see how we can use this IC. So we said this IC is uh, predefined or is shown as going into the transistor itself at this point. So IC. So we now have that. So I guess we can form an equation at that node and see if we have enough variables to actually solve for VO and IO. So doing that, we're going to do nodal analysis at this node, right? So we have all of these currents are going out. So I'm going to have a convention, which I usually make, saying that uh, the currents which go into the node are negative and the currents that go out of the node are positive. So where is IC going in terms of the VO node? So IC is going out, so it's going to be positive. So positive IC, so two. Okay, let me first write in terms of variables. So I'm going to say IC, it's positive because it's going out of the node. And where is IO going in terms of that node? It's going out as well. So we're going to have plus. It's going to be plus because of our convention, which we have. So IO. And finally, where is I going? The current which wasn't labeled, but I actually labeled as I. It's going out of the node as well. So we're going to say plus I is equal to zero. All right. And most people usually ask, why do you have all your currents going out? This will always, always work out if your math or your convention is correct and if you're consistent with whatever you set for yourself, right? So let's now substitute what we have. So we found this to be 200 micro uh, amperes, and we don't know what this is, but we said it's equals to VO divided by 20K, right? We formed that relationship before, so VO divided by 20K, and we don't know what I is, but if we look along that path, we have VO and we have a 10 volt there, and therefore the voltage between this resistor is actually that, VO subtract that, and then subtract ground, which we don't really have to show, but I'll just show it for uh, convenience or to make you understand what's going on. So this current goes all the way from there until ground, and that's why we have to subtract ground as well. So from the node VO, and then subtract the 10 volt uh, voltage source, and then finally subtract ground, and we divide by the resistor which uh, actually receives that current and all of this is equated to zero because we only have three points connected to that node so you can multiply through by um 20k so multiplying through by 20k we're going to have 20k multiplied by this so the k so only going to be left with that because the k is going to cancel out with that and then multiplied in 20 by uh 200 we're going to have 4000 so 4000 multiplied by that which is going to cancel out again into just four. And then we're gonna have plus VO, plus VO, subtract 10 is equal to zero. Subtract 10 is equal to zero. So combining these two, we're gonna have two VO, taking these to the other side of the equal sign. We're gonna have 10 subtract uh, four, subtract four, and then we're gonna have two VO is equal to six, divided by two, divided by two, and therefore VO is equal to three volts. And then now, using this same three volts into this relationship, which we found earlier, we said IO is equal to VO divided by 20K. So this VO divided by 20K should give you IO. And the answer to that is three divided by 20K. Uh, the answer to that is 150 microamperes. And these are your two answers for this question. And that's how you answer this particular question.